you know, I think Nickelodeon has a way better track record of releasing their old school material than Cartoon Network does. Nickelodeon releases has released like everything, like every season, Wild Thornberries, Rugrats, Cat Dog, Rock of Modern Life, Ren and Stimpy, fucking everything, everything you can possibly imagine. Uh, My Life's a Teenage Robot, and recently Jimmy Neutron, fucking everything under the goddamn sun. Uh, and a lot of them in, in, in complete sets, Cartoon Network has dropped the ball. Like, they released some of their stuff, like just some of it. Uh, but just only a little bit, and I don't understand that, and, uh, today we're going to talk about Dexter's Laboratory, one of my favorite cartoons growing up, and one of my favorite, uh, cartoons of all time. It's amazing, and everyone who grew up with it knows it's already amazing, but they only released the first season, and that's it! And guess what, folks? They released that in 2010. That's right. That's fucking 12 years ago. 12 fucking years. Now, as of right now, you can watch the, the, all the episodes of Dexter's Lab on HBO Max, and that's cool and all, but I'm still pissed. Like, I'm pissed off. Like, are DVDs dying? Are they going away forever? Are, are, is, is there, are they really having a slow death? Because I still see them releasing some, some new movies on DVD, and sometimes, nowadays, even, new, even TV shows, they still release them, old TV shows. Now, in 2010, they released the Cartoon Network Hall of Fame sets, Season 1 of Courage the Cowardly Dog, Johnny Bravo, and Dexter's Lab. All in 2010. Those three first seasons. Then, as the years went by, they released all the other seasons of Courage the Cowardly Dog. Seasons 2 and 3, and maybe 4, something like that. I I think... uh, like So they released all of that Courage stuff, and... What happened to Johnny Bravo? Um, you know, and then Dexter got screwed as well. And um, the Powerpuff Girls uh, had the same kind of animators and people that worked on that show that worked on Dexter's Lab. And they released the first season of the Powerpuff Girls. And because they were lazy, they decided not to release the other seasons of the Powerpuff Girls into individual sets, but they released the complete series of the Powerpuff Girls, which is whatever. I mean, I'd rather have them release them in sets, but whatever, they still released it. They still fucking did it. The complete fucking series of the goddamn Powerpuff Girls. But where's Dexter? Dexter again, getting left behind. There's so many episodes of Dexter, like fucking 78 episodes. And we only have the first season, and it's ridiculous. When are they going to release this shit? When? Because what if they don't? What if they don't, and what if in the future they get taken off of HBO Max? Then what do we have? Um, all the people that uh, were lucky enough to tape them on VHS. Um, you know, I, I don't really understand. Uh, they even brought back Courage the Cowardly Dog in that new uh, movie with Scooby-Doo where they team up. So they even brought back Courage as well. Like, I, I, I loved Courage back in the day. Like, Courage was awesome. Um, but I personally, just personally, I liked uh, Dexter's Lab way better. And that's just my opinion, and that's cool. And I love Courage as well. And I liked Johnny Bravo. I didn't love it. I didn't think it was as good as the other cartoons. But still, you know, even Johnny Bravo had some funny stuff in it. Um, some hilarious stuff in it. Where's the other seasons of Johnny Bravo? Now, I know nowadays, like, oh, very controversial, Pepe Le Pew, uh, like, uh, it's, it's, it's hard to see them actually releasing the rest of Johnny Bravo on DVD, but you know what, like, uh, it's too bad, right, because they should have released it back then, 2010, when that wasn't a big deal yet, uh, still, it's like nostalgia, like, um, we adapt as a culture, but don't, don't, don't not release something because, uh, because standards have changed. Like, we, we want to, we want to own the, our childhood, the stuff we grew up on, the stuff we grew up with. I was very inspired from the old cartoons on Cartoon Network back in the early 2000s, back in the late 90s. I loved Dexter's Laboratory so much. And it's time to fucking release the later seasons. Later seasons? Hell! It's time to release the rest of the seasons of the show. It's ridiculous. And Johnny Bravo. And the other cartoons, too. They only released the first two seasons of Ed, Ed and Eddie. 
What the hell is that about? Where's all the rest of the seasons of Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Ed, Ed, and Eddie is fucking phenomenal. Everyone knows that. Um, Codename Kids Next Door, one of the greatest cartoons of all time. Big hit in the 2000s. 2000s classic. Where is it? Um, they released the first season, I think. Or they had one DVD that had like a select certain episodes, and that was about it. Uh, Codename Kids Next Door, like has such a big fan base, and I would argue, at this point, probably bigger than Dexter's, and where's, where's Codename Kids Next Door seasons on DVD? Where are they? Uh, absurd. And way more so, uh, compared to Dexter. Like, Kids Next Door had, like, long story arcs, and, uh, had a lot of really deep human emotion stuff that happened in the episodes, and um, at the time when I was a kid, it was kind of a, a very interesting, very creative, kind of powerful show. Um, and it talked about the, the, the relationship between uh, parents and their children, and how parents shouldn't be, and how kids should be, and all of that stuff. And it went into all that kind of stuff. And I mean, they should release the other seasons on DVD. And I, I absolutely love Dexter. Um, yeah, I just think it's ridiculous. Like, that's fucking so long ago they released the first season of Dexter. Release the other fucking seasons. For Christ's sake. Before they forget. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, give it a like and subscribe. And uh, please leave some comments uh, in, the, in the section below and let me know how you feel. If you love Dexter like me, I'd love to hear how you feel about this, this ridiculousness that it may not even happen at this point because it's been so fucking long and they're just not, they're not releasing them. Uh, I really hope they do. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Love you all. Love you all. Thank you. And just hopefully one day, one day in the future, hopefully, there will be another day, another fine day for science.